In this video, we will have the patch 5.01 rundown. It's been a long three weeks since the introduction of Episode 5 Act 1, but on this Tuesday morning, we finally have our first regularly scheduled patch. And Riot chalked this one full of some interesting agent changes and game changes too. What's going on, Pro Guides family? It's Sergeant Frost, and today we have the patch 5.01 rundown. This patch is bringing some huge agent changes down the balance pipeline just as we transition into the middle of the act. If you're looking to climb the ranks and improve your skills for the start of the episode, then come check us out at ProGuides.com. On our website, we have Radiant and Immortal level coaches who are eager to help you climb the ranks. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Now let's get into these patch notes. First things first, with patch 5.01, Pearl will be put into normal queues and will leave the Pearl only playlist. Now for agent changes, this patch we are getting some huge agent changes to a few duelists and initiators who definitely needed some help. Let's see if these balance changes will help or hinder these agents in the future. The first agent up to bat for agent changes this patch is the Forgotten Duelist Phoenix. Phoenix's max flash duration has increased from 1.1 seconds to 1.5 seconds. His flash windup time has decreased from 0.7 seconds to 0.5 seconds. Phoenix's weapon will now equip earlier if you stop bending the wall while in use. And finally, when using his ultimate, Phoenix will now spawn at the marker with the same amount of shields he had when the ability was cast. As we covered in our previous PvE Changes Leaks video, these Phoenix changes are great for his character. These balance adjustments won't make him OP or make him the best overall duelist by any means. But considering how forgotten and underutilized he was for almost the past year, it's a step in the right direction for changes without having to full-on rework him. These changes should make him a bit more competitive and viable amongst the duelists. Yoru wasn't really struggling per se, but he was not the best duelist in the game either before this patch. The devs must not be happy with where he stands in the meta because they've given him two small but pretty notable buffs. Yoru's ultimate duration time has increased from 10 seconds to 12 seconds, and his unequipped time out of his ultimate has been reduced from 1.2 seconds to 0.8 seconds. Yoru as an agent is a force to be reckoned with when he's put into the right hands. He's a high skill cap agent that thrives when you put the time in to learn his tips and tricks and use those advantages to outplay your enemies in game. These buffs put a lot of power into his ultimate which is one of the biggest tools of deception in game. The extra 2 seconds on his ultimate give him increased travel time which allows him to travel further or stay hidden for longer when he's trying to make a play. And reducing the unequipped time allows him to get back into the action faster after he's unequipped his ultimate. These buffs should make Yoru even more competitive against duelists in his class, as his ultimate is a very essential part of his kit that can make or break his game. KO has been a very popular agent so far in 2022 now that the game's community at large knows how powerful his suppression is. In this patch, the devs are giving him some slight buffs and a minor nerf to his kit. The zone diameter on Fragment has been reduced from 10 meters to 8 meters. And also a big change to note is that the damage now applies without needing line of sight. The devs have noted that they have seen a lot of inconsistencies with how Fragment is communicating the actual damage zone on the ability, and they have wanted to be consistent with how the visuals were showing the damage zone, so they have removed the line of sight requirement to apply damage. And the final change for KO belongs to his ultimate. Now only allies will hear the full channel audio of reviving KO while downed. Enemies will only hear a short audio cue when the revive has started, matching a similar gameplay pattern to playing around the ultimate orbs or tapping the bomb. One of the biggest flaws with KO's ultimate was the reviving sounds, because if the enemies heard it, they know that they can swing you and kill KO's teammate that's trying to revive him. Reducing the audio cue to make it safer for him to be rezzed is a great change to encourage people to pick up down KO's in battle. In gameplay systems, this patch there is a new smurf detection system being implemented into Valorant. This edition of the smurf detection system is designed to make sure that new players, and by new players they mean all new accounts, are matched up with players of the correct skill level much faster than before. The devs are testing this change in the NA region first so they can make sure everything works as intended before a global rollout. Testing will begin this week when the patch goes live. For our final game system update, the devs have improved collision behavior when walking next to or behind a player. This should heavily reduce the amount of jitteriness experienced when moving close to your allies rushing a site, especially when moving as a group, and moving out of spawn should feel better. In game modes this patch, Twin Hunters and Spike Rush will now damage destructible walls with this patch. In performance bug fixes this patch, the devs have fixed an issue where having the raw input buffer setting enabled caused scrolling in chat or friends list to go directly to the top or bottom. In agent bug fixes this patch, the devs have fixed a bug with Yoru where in his dimensional drift, the invulnerability kicked in later than intended after it was cast. The devs have also fixed an issue with Sova where his shock bolt was not damaging enemy traps or other game objects other than players. And finally, the devs have fixed an issue where Fade's haunt would sometimes reveal enemies that were on the other side of a thin wall. And that is all for the patch 5.01 rundown. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Also, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com to gain some access to some truly amazing coaching. This has been Sergeant Frost, and good luck on the grind in this new episode.